Comment ça va? That means how you doing, doing, doing. Oh, Tinu, what's that thing on your head? This is my mind reader's cap. And when it's on, I know what you're thinking. And what you're thinking is, I want to make a stop motion movie, but it's way too complicated to make a stop motion puppet. Well, you come to the right place. Because today, I'm going to show you how to make the easiest stop motion puppets that I can think of. And we're going to make a whole slew of them. We're going to mix up a special clay recipe that you can make yourself and destroy your kitchen. We're going to hammer, twirl, sculpt, and even get magnetized. Look at that. Whoa. And what kind of half-baked tutorial would this be if I didn't have some stop-motion animation to prove to you that these puppets work? So if this is the kind of thing you're into, and I hope it is, well then, let's get our craft on. So here's the master game plan in this tutorial. I want to make three or four different kinds of stop motion puppets. All of them will be easy, but uh, we'll use different products and materials. But my ultimate goal here is to make the easiest stop motion puppet possible with materials that you probably have in your home right now. Now several of these are going to use uh, braided wire, but uh, if you came here just for the uh, super easy figures, don't worry, we got you covered. First, uh, here's a very quick overview of uh, how to braid a wire. How to braid a wire. Wire, wire, vice, vice, vice. Or use any stationary object that you can wrap some wire around. Ooh, nice. Twist it, turn it, braid it. Twist it, turn it, braid it. Or just put it in a drill. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Watch out. Mm, perfecto. Okay, let's take our braided wire and we bend it a little. Aluminum foil. Gotta cut a piece. Now I usually like to start out by uh, making a head first. And boy, let me tell you, this is not something you want to do at night while everybody's sleeping. Look, now I got two. Now this is the first crazy substance I'm gonna throw at y'all. Paper mache clay. Et new, you got the label wrong. I know. Now I learned how to make this goop from a really adorable lady named Ronnie. I just love her. And her paper mache clay recipe is pretty amazing and it's crazy strong. You can find most of these ingredients at the hardware stores, but I'm gonna put a recipe in the description of this video. But the best thing you could do for yourself is to go to Ronnie's channel and learn from the master herself. Do you have an idea for an animal, whether it's a tiger, aardvark, dragon, um, oh gosh, flamingo, porpoise fish, anything? Looks like crab meat. So let's take this and, uh, I don't know, start slapping it on. Nice work, Tinu. Now you got a head that looks like a meatball. May thank you. Head number two. Now I don't know about you, but this is looking like a fish head, like a fish head guy to me. Now it's sticking to the tool pretty badly, but uh, if you let the paste dry out more, it doesn't do that so much. N no. Tinu? What on earth are you wearing on your head? It's my mind reader's cap, daddy. Boy, it's always something with you, huh? I knew you were gonna say that. Right. Tell me this, Mr. Swami. What am I thinking now? I want a fried oyster pool boy real bad with fries and a pop. Get out of my head, boy. I don't want you in there. Nanette, you better go talk to your son. He's going over to the dark side. Okay, it's tomorrow. Man, almighty, this paper mache clay is dry and it is so hard. I was hoping to carve this down a little bit, but the only thing I'm going to do here is uh, probably lose a finger. Much safer. Okay, let's wrap some wires for his arms. Smash it down with the pliers. 
22 gauge wire. I'm going to reinforce this so it doesn't spin. After all that, this thing still spins. Now, maybe you can tie it down tighter than me. I don't know. Probably. But here's one way you can fix it. Now, don't smash it down too hard. You don't want to break it. But look, mission accomplished. No spin. More wire twisting. This is the arms. And this is the, uh, well, I'm going to let you guess. Whoa. See how the leg move? You can use tape if you want. But look, it's straightened right out. Okay, we're going to give it a little tie here. And now we're going to loop it. Poxy sculpt. That's what I'm gonna use to really lock down these uh, connections right here. Let's cut a few pieces, smash it down real good in there. This is where the bones are. This is where you don't want the wire to bend. Watch this technique. Split it down the middle. Now look, it wraps around the wire all nice and easy. I didn't say it was going to be pretty. Oh, somebody's been working out. Limb attachment technique. Now, why doesn't it come out even? Limb attachment technique number two. Hold on. This is just a different way to lock the limbs in. Epoxy. Get it all up in there. Put some on his butt. This is just a quarter inch steel nut. And yeah, you can attach it with a epoxy sculpt, but I'm trying out things. So uh, I use the epoxy glue instead. The reason for this is I want his feet magnetized. So he uh, stands up. Now check this out. Look how strong these magnets are. This is called a rare earth magnet. I don't know why they call it that because uh, you can find them anywhere online for just a few bucks. Oh, yeah. Now how are we gonna get crazy and use these heat shrinks as bones? Heat shrink. Set them up real nice. Heat gun. Editor's note. This worked like a 0%. Do not use a heat shrink on your puppets. Boy, you knew this wasn't gonna work, but you went ahead and did it anyway, huh? Does anybody in here uh, feel a draft? Oh God. Now we're gonna attach these feet in a different way. With just some wire. Now the old men at the boatyard would say, Hey Tinu, what's this junky mess you got here? On the plus side, it does work. You have to put magnets under the floor, which for me is a pizza pan from the dollar store. Watch this. That is called a blooper. Now the main problem here is that you gotta... <laughs> Look here. here we go. Another editor's note. Uh, so this is a harebrained way to try to attach your feet. I suggest using epoxy glue so the feet have more of a flat surface area. So it's able to stick to your pizza pan. <clears throat> I mean your animation floor. Let's pretend for a second that these magnets are under the floor. Gotta use our imaginations here. So if you want to do a lot of uh, really nice walk cycles, like if your character doesn't own a car or is a professional jogger or something, these kind of feet work great. But you need easy access to underneath the animation floor. But rest assured, there's always a way around. Stay tuned. Now, on this character, we're gonna use tape to make the bones. See? Keeping it low tech and simple. And look at that. Look how nice that moves. Yeah. 
Same thing with the arms. Oh yeah, low tech. Needs a head. I did not say it was gonna be a good one. Let's cover up our shame. I am up to no good. Me too. Making some eyes on the fish guy with a boxy skull. Not a way he was raised, he ended up with some real anger issues. I don't know if y'all knew this, but my wife, she paints. And she did this painting called Spiritual Advisor. I guess this lady's a psychic. She has this angel on her shoulder saying, you, you gotta do good things. But this other one over here is saying, nah, let's have some fun. And in the crystal ball, this is your relatives in the afterlife who still don't wanna talk to you. That's a bird. So Spiritual Advisor. Boy, she's got a really nice mind reader's cap, huh? I wanted to check if the paper mache clay could be baked along with super scoby. So I added these details in right here to the meatball. It worked. Sometimes I like to use the end of an ink pen or a tool to make eyes. I'm marking out where his bones go. These I'm going to make out of the paper mache clay. We experimenting. Add some aluminum foil to the areas where the mache needs to grab on. That's his underwear. Now spread this on. I'm telling you, it looks like crab meat. It has a real beautiful texture, but you could smooth it out more if you like. Now I said that I was gonna make the simplest stop motion animation character that I knew how. And uh, Tinu keeps his promises. So let's go. Fold a decent sized piece of aluminum foil. That's the leg cut, arm one, arm two. Now uh, squish it into some little limbs. There you go. Keep squishing. Go on. I am gonna get thrown out the sculptor's guild. Quick, let's make another one. A little bigger this time. Arm number one. Arm number two. You can reinforce parts with extra foil. That's legal. Crotch reinforcement. That's a thing. Then squish it extra tight. Now here's the low tech magic. Toothpick and tape. Wrap it real good. Again. Reinforce it with tape. Rinse and repeat. Now we're gonna go with yet a different style of feet on these. I put the magnet directly in the foil and just uh, fold it up. And you want to tape it down real good. Now this is the second foil puppet that I made. And I'm creating a hole for the neck. I made this head out of Super Sculpey. And his neck just with a toothpick. You see that? The head turns. Now I didn't add anything here. And look, the head holds on real tight. But if you need more resistance... Shove some sticky tack in there. Now I decided to make something vaguely clot like with a just regular old masking tape. I like how this looks because it's uh, stylized. But you can do it neater than this if you want to. Some little aluminum foil hands. Glue it on. Just like that. Bravo for you, Tinu. You made a crappy puppet. But you promised we can make this out of common household items. And last time I checked, Super Sculpey was not on that list. Oh, right. Common toothpick. Common foil. Decapitation. Recapitation. Tape. Tape. Hey, Tinuda, you draw him with a sad face because you did such a crappy job on his head? 
maybe. Let's just work on the feet. Oh, come on. One down. Hey, watch my toes. Yeah, Tinu, that's great, but I doubt he's gonna stick to the floor. Watch out. He's been taking karate lessons. High kick. Always face your opponent. Now we're gonna build some uh, quick and dirty backgrounds out of this uh, expensive material. Hot glue is your friend. I'm joking, it's cardboard. Oh, will you listen to all that noise? Hey, daddy, daddy, can you keep it down? No. Hot glue, hot, hot glue. This is gonna be a rock wall. Rockwell. Now you can tell I put a lot of thought into this. It's a, a, a temple or something. I made these two couillons a good long time ago. Now they're gonna be some background extras. A little bit of glue. You stick it down. Same thing. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of these. I also made some little props. These are gonna be torches that they can carry on their uh, their adventures. Torch handles are brown. Everybody knows that. All right, this tutorial would be pretty lame if I didn't do some uh, stop motion so you can see with your own eyes that these puppets work. Now this is not a ILM, all right? There's a uh, no George Lucas here. This animation is uh, really rough around the edge. It's kind of like my daddy. Hey! Anyway, the actors have studied their lines, the stunts are rehearsed, and uh, we're ready to go. Oh, wow. Hmm. It couldn't be more uh, creepy in here, could it? Ah, there it is. The thing I've been searching for my whole life. My whole freaking life. Um, really? A fish guy? Yes, and no silly curse will stop me. Whoa, wait. What? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Nope, uh -uh, I'm out of here. Heavens to Betsy, heavens to Joe. Wait till the thunder come, join the show. No use complaining, no use to fight. Wake from your slumber, swim to the light. Don't sleep with the fishes, come walk on the land. Rise up, oh scaly one, get up if you can. Come on, get up. Mm -mm. Mm. You can do it, wakey wakey. Mm -mm. I've been waiting for this all my life. Get up! Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm up, I'm up. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, freaking yes. Mm. Mm. I smell a peace prize. I was having the craziest dream. No, oh, brother. Like baby doll but and she had matches and she but they weren't like matches but she gave me the matches and she said there's the curtains you know what to do oh he's absolutely insane man are you guys hungry i am starving gotta get some to eat no bad bad I swear I won't eat you. Help! What the? Ah. Bring it over here, sister. Who are you? I'm a singer songwriter from Star Star 2. Three. Well, okay. Ah. Oh. oh, come on. Kill a friend. 
peach, mosquito in a pink, tuxedo. Oh God! Going to drink oh. all the margaritas as well. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 oh, no. Stop! Go, go, go. La 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 la. You got this, girl. Come on, come on, show me the goods. Yeah, show me the goods. You show it to me. Well, that's technically a stop motion film. You might have noticed that the characters didn't have lip sync. And that's because uh, it's like Pandora's can of worms. It's a, it's a whole other level. Overall, I was pretty happy that all the characters that I built worked better than I had expected. And they all stood up to the abuses of animation without uh, breaking. I have to say that the bones made out of tape worked better than expected. So this might be a progression for people who are animating Legos mostly and maybe looking to do something with their own original characters. So to help you build a simple puppet, I've created a template that you can print out for measurements. I'll put this in the description of the tutorial where you can download it if you like. I'm glad we ended on a serious note. There was a lot of silliness in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'm telling you, he better not set my house on fire with his telecommunication powers. Like that little girl in the Stephen King movie? That's what I gotta put up with now? It was bad before. Best case scenario in all this is that the government snatches him up for testing and puts him in a bunker somewhere. Let them deal with him for a change. They're gonna send him back to me in less than a week. Watch. <laughs>